Good morning, Barstow, and welcome to BTVN. We want state. I'm I'm Kieran McMahon. State. That's Colin. We want state. We have a great show for you all day. State. We want it. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in the blue world, and all day and all night, and everything he sees is just blue, like him inside and outside. Blue his house with the blue little window and a blue corvette, and everything is blue for him and himself and everybody around, cause he ain't got nobody to listen. Welcome back. So, Colin, it's Saturday. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. In case you didn't hear, the Barstow soccer team won state. Do you know what that means, Kieran? I believe it means our Barstow boys soccer team are the official class one Misha state champions. I think you're right on that one. Uh, did you come to any of the games? Of course, which is actually where my voice has gotten today. But on Friday, the upper school all headed out in the extreme cold weather to cheer on the Knights in the semifinal game. Let me just say the game was a little bit too close for my comfort. Uh, yes, it was for sure a nail biter on that one. By the end of the first half, the score was 0 1 Barstow trailing. However, Luckily, in the early second half of the game, we had a beautiful goal by Armand Java Haven, Java Harry, <coughs> to tie it back up. Then, after the extreme tension of two different overtime periods, it was down to penalty kicks. And with 5 4 Barstow, one penalty kick left to go, Adam Maelli wins us the game with a beautiful save. Wait, Kieran, did you uh, come to the state final game? Psh, you know it. We had a great time. We were in even colder weather and it even snowed. The game was a lot of fun. We started off late in the first half with a goal by Matt Bruce and right after that a goal in the second half by Pedro Castro. Well, the Canton Tigers sure put up a good fight and scored a goal late in the second half, but they sadly were no match for the Barstow Knights. That's right, Colin. We also have a pretty cool trophy. No big deal. No big deal. There's our goal by Pedro Castro. Look at that. Winning us, you. Winning you all. I'm sorry. The state title. It was even a slow motion for you guys at home. <laughs> On to other news, though. Of course. Uh, there will be a meeting for parents of students interested in the Certificate of Emphasis program tomorrow at 8 a.m. in the dining hall. The program is available to 9th and 10th grade students. Also, there is a GPML mathematics competition coming up on December 6th for the Mighty Mighty Barstow math team. Any student can and is encouraged to participate, especially freshmen and sophomores. Send Dr. Kramer an email or stop by his room for questions. They will wait until walking fast, faces past them homebound. Colin might not be a talented singer, but Barstow is. Clara Winker, Ben Abbas, and Stephanie Krutz were selected to the National Honor Choirs of American Choral Directors Association. There were over 3,500 auditions from across the country. Their ensembles will perform at the National Convention in Salt Lake City, Utah on February 28, 2015. In addition, Natalie Beyer and Leah Spears were selected for the Kansas City Metro All-District String Orchestra on November 8th at Liberty High School. They will be performing at the KC Metro Orchestra Festival on January 10th at Stately High School. Varsity night for all winter sports will be this Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. That's right. On the same note, Barstow game day is Thursday, moving to prime time at 6.30 p.m. I'm excited. You going to come out, Colin? I'm actually anchoring with Libby Roar, so I probably should be there. It's going to be a blast, and I can't wait. There's going to be games, competitions, raffles, and the basketball teams are going to be scrimmaging. So. That's right, and uh, the first 100 people there get a free rally towel to bring to the games this season. It should be a lot of fun. Lastly, the third grade students are super duper pumped to head out for their Earthworks field trip on Wednesday. Let's head to Shea Rush and see what the weather will be like for them. Look, my squad has 
half man trail, half Mandela. My band got 70s strong, just like fella. Yeah, part Melly Mel, part Van Helen. And we represent Illidale, where they still rebelling. Hey, yo, sicko show like Mike. Moore. Hey, folks. This last week was freezing, but that didn't matter because the boys' soccer team won state and a lot of other crazy stuff happened. Let's take a look at this week and hope it's not as cold. All right, I'm going to be honest. Today is terrible. It's a low of 12 degrees. It's going to be super windy. It's going to be a bad one. But on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it's going to be my favorite day, a bluebird. And the temperature will be rising. It's going to reach 46 on Thursday. And then as we head into Friday, we're going to start to see some clouds roll in late. And then Saturday and Sunday, as a warming trend comes, also some rain. You're going to see a chance of rain on Saturday and Sunday. Expect scattered showers, um, but it's going to be warmer, so you can't complain. I'm Shay Rush with your weekly weather. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Shay Rush. That was some good weather forecasting, as always, Shay Rush. But I think that's all we have for today. See you next time, Barstow. I'm Karen McMahon. And I'm Colin Hawley. We won state.